Valverde has been fired. There's a new manager, Kike Setien, and I heard that he loves to play the Tiki Taka football. Good enough, they've played, he has played his first game, yeah. and they won that game by a slim victory, one goal to nil. As a Barcelona fan, would you say you are satisfied with um, what is going on? Because most people think there's a crisis going on in Barcelona, but we're not seeing it in the open, but it's just playing underneath. But are you satisfied with what's going on with Barcelona at the moment? There definitely is a crisis. I, I, I mean, um, uh, from the time Joan Laporta left Barcelona presidency, uh, you have Sandro Rosell. Now you have Jose Bartomeu. Uh, in fact, the, the, the crisis is there. But, you know, um, Barcelona is a club who you know, know how to mask all this, you know, with the kind of performance that we saw week in, week out. Mm. Uh, but, you know, that does not rule out the fact that there is a crisis. Mm. Well, let us leave off of the, 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 the off-field event. Yeah. Uh, coming to uh, the coach right now, I don't think he's the right coach that should lead Barcelona at this time. 2020, we're in 2020. We are mm. not in 1889 <laughs> when the club was formed. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, for a coach who have not won anything in football and he has only coached likes the the biggest he has coached before was Real Betis yeah. then Las Palmas uh, you know getting somebody to promote from division three to division two was his biggest achievement in, fo in football mm. I, 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 I don't think it should be the one leading Barcelona right now but that is what the board has thrown at us we're going to make do with it yes uh, I, 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 and I this is a personal opinion I, I, I think that he got the job based on what he has said in the past, not mm. based on what he has done. done. Uh, because he has always said that he liked uh, the Johan Cruyff uh, philosophy. Uh, he he, 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 he applauded Lionel Messi. Remember when Messi scored that goal against his team and uh, the old stadium gave him a standing ovation. Messi did not even know that the stadium is giving him a standing ovation, <laughs> standing ovation. until one of the Betis players told him. And Messi acknowledged it. After the game, he said he would like to see Messi played up to 60 years. Uh, so this were the things that made him get the job. Mm. Uh, that is a personal opinion, like I said. But he's here yeah, right now. He said he's going to play the tic tac Yes, we saw it in the first game. At the point in time, it was 81% possession to 19. But for my world, I want to see goals. Yeah. I want to see goals. Uh, 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 yes, I would like to see Barcelona play in that form. That's what we have known Barcelona to be. But I want a coach that will, instill, that will bring goals I mean, you had uh, guys like Allegri, you know, yeah. waiting. In fact, I would have loved a Pochettino, but that is what the board mm. has given us, and we're going to stay you with know, I, I was going to mention that now, um, uh, Prof. Um, they had the likes of Massimiliano Allegri to pick. There's also Rafa Benitez. Coleman. There's Coleman. There's a uh, former Tottenham manager, uh, Pochettino. Pochettino. And we also heard rumors that the, the Pochettino was high. In the ratings for the, uh, to be the next manager at Barcelona, and suddenly we hear Kike Setien, um, former coach of um, Real Betis, who said he was even with his cows um, before he before. got twenty-four um, hours before before he got that uh, job. Now, mm. what is this thing with the Spanish La Liga rotating coaches in the Spanish La Liga? Why can't Barcelona go outside to pick a coach to come lead them? Um, to start with, you have to look at a philosophy, the history of Barcelona itself. Barcelona Football Club was formed for a purpose that is more fundamental, that is more germane than just football. Mm. You must talk about the political rivalry between a main, mainstay Catalonia and exactly. um, Madrid as it were. And um, you know, look at the political economies of the country. As it were, Barcelona, a city, beautiful city, located at the extreme, the end of Spain. Up north. You know, up north there, they have all the resources, the, the mineral resources sustaining Spain. Most of them come from Barcelona. Mm. Talk about the level of sophistication, education, knowledge is also right there from Barcelona. Barcelona. However, population, they don't have it and the political heavyweights, somehow by design or nature, they are at the other side. The side so the, the agitation of we must leave has always been coming. And, um, you know, from the days of Kenga Alfonso of Spain and Dozen Madrid, Madrid happens to be the first club that a king will say, hold, behold the world, this is my beloved club, <laughs> club. support them. Mm. That is where you have the Real 
that is Royal, mm. Royal Madrid. Madrid. So in response, the Catalonia had to, you know, do something that Barcelona was adopted as a matter of political statement to say, okay, you have Madrid for Spain, we have Barcelona, Barcelona. for Catalonia. And that's how the rivalry had been going on. There are lots of um, issues, signing players, True. hijacking and mm. whatever you that. We can't even talk about that now. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, today we have the two clubs among the best sporting franchise, not only in football, in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, money, market, spread, personal, and what have you. The problem with Barcelona, well, if um, Sergi is not just a fan, he's actually the, the chairman <laughs> beauty Barcelona, of Barcelona, Barcelona fans. Barcelona of you know, so he's beyond just being a fan. He, <laughs> he sleeps Barcelona. But, uh, Let's not go there. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the issue mm. now is this. Barcelona is suffering from ideological crisis. Mm. You talk about an ideology, a philosophy, a mentality. The tiki-taka we are talking about is not a Barcelona thing. Mm. A stranger, a foreigner, by accident, coached Barcelona. And he I don't agree by them. accident. He was a former player of Barcelona. I know, I but while he was in Barcelona, Barcelona. He never played Tiki Taka. Mm. It was as a player. Play, as a player. Mm. He didn't play Tiki Taka. Tiki Taka came to Barcelona in 1988. Mm. I was in GS 2-3 then. Tiki Taka wasn't a Barca thing. He brought that philosophy. Look, what are we talking about? Tiki Taka, that means it is a football strategy that is a virtual system that a team can look at the pitch and expand it virtually. Mm. For, a, for Barcelona players, the team is bigger, larger than what the opponent is saying. Mm. They can string passes, possessive, possess, defensive possession and what have you. Short passes, movement and what have you. When Barcelona is not holding the ball, there are more men take, attacking the opponent, mm. I mean defending. So it worked perfectly because of the time, the players, the resources available then. Mm. Tiki Taka did not come from La Masia, the Barcelona Academy. No. It's the other way around. From the senior team, he tried to percolate, to go down to La Masia. Mm -hmm. So let me just, um, at the end of it all, Barcelona had a season fame in Tiki Taka. Mm. But they want to turn it to a soap opera. <laughs> that is the fundamental okay. problem they have. Mm. So the people to execute Tiki Taka today I no more there. See, uh, 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 Uduka, you should not talk about Tiki Taka when you don't have a Xavi, you do not have an Iniesta. Wow. Um, I'm, I'm sure Sergio doesn't agree with that, but we have uh, one minute to go, so I'll give you yes, 30 seconds uh, uh, to wrap up. Uh, uh, I mean, before uh, the uh, time of uh, Xavi and Iniesta, we have had personnel that played Tiki Taka. Mm. Uh, we have the likes of uh, Ferra, we have the likes of Pep Guardiola. Mm. I, I mean, you have the likes of uh, 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 Luis Enrique. These were people who played the tic-taca and they excelled with it. You know, uh, the time of Sweskov, you know, at the front of them. So, uh, see, um, players will always come and go. But if a team is known for something, let, let, let them remain with that team. And that is what Basa They are not known for tic taka Since, okay. since well, those two guys left, <laughs> what has Basa won with tic taka uh, we have to, I'm sure we'll have this discussion another time. Probably we'll have both of them come on and do a head-to-head. -head. Okay. Barcelona is, is Barcelona a tiki taka team or not? Probably we'll have both of them and uh, we'll tear the studio apart. But as much as you can take today on Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa, I'm sure you enjoyed the package. I enjoyed the package for uh, today's show. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming down to the Thank studio. Thank you so much, Udoka. Really it's been awesome here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. All right, uh, my name is Udoka and Joko. Do enjoy the rest of your day and keep watching Plus TV Africa because we give you the best when it comes to TV programming.